Joining me as I discuss why I left the YouTube channel of 1100 subscribers, why I started a new channel in 2021, and what I'm most excited for for YouTube in 2022. Stay tuned. Welcome to the channel, my name is Matt, and versus a general sim racing video, I wanted to discuss my thoughts as a New Year's resolution or a year wrap up on YouTube here. So for context, this channel here was created on November 5th, my first video went up on November 12th, and during this time frame, this will be approximately the ninth video on the channel, and already the channel has grossed about, at the time of recording, 951 views, and by the time this video is posted, it'll probably surpass 1,000 views. So as a comparison, the other channel that I've spent a lot, a lot of time on, which was the Extrenia Zone, and that was started on April 30th in 2017. So with the Extrenia Zone, I managed to get pretty lucky with the YouTube search engine optimizations. Uh, those first couple of videos up to a pretty good uh, view count. So even that being said, it took four months to reach a thousand views across the channel as a whole. It took about three months to reach 17 subscribers. Currently, as we speak with this channel, it has only taken seven weeks to reach a thousand views and 17 subscribers so already that is why i'm really excited for 2022 so a lot of you are probably asking okay so you've spent more than two and a half years probably closer to about four years on the extraneous zone with about a year break in the middle so what was all that about and why did you start a new channel the issue is this that i had is that there was kind of an identity crisis at its core. Yes, it was a gaming YouTube channel, but the problem was is with the idea of wanting to be a larger video production company, I had recorded like a documentary. I had um, like Warhammer 40K content at the very beginning and then it changed the gameplay. I had like a couple of podcasts on it and it was just, even when I had the idea of the gaming centralized theme for the majority of the channel, the fact that it was exclusively gaming and then one week I would do like Cannon Brawl and another week I would do Don't Starve Together, it just really didn't work well with the search engine optimization. There's two, three, four million other people that are also trying to be gaming YouTubers. So there's got to be a way that separates yourself from everybody else and I didn't. But what's different with my new channel is that it has a theme. This channel is made primarily around sim racing content. So that would be whether it be product reviews, various thoughts on various video games, and of course the cream of the crop, you know, the gameplay itself with voiceover. With that being said, currently Having this new idea of this is my channel, this is the content that I want to create, and having that very defined vision in mind makes this channel already so much more successful than the Extraneous Zone ever was, even to this day. Because even with the Extraneous Zone, yes, I can say that I've amassed 1,100 subscribers, but with a giant break in the middle, even though I was doing two videos a week for over two years for a while, nobody really stayed around after that break ended. Because when the break ended, you know, my watch time and the views just took a giant dive for obvious reasons because people had either unsubscribed or people have just realized that I either had like a, a giant change in direction as it was coming back you know, trying to revitalize the channel, and it's just, it just didn't work. So even though this channel is only at one video a week, which is definitely, I could probably do more with the current schedule that I've got, I wanted to leave it at something pretty basic because the other thing that I'm very excited for 2022 is being able to utilize other social medias. Yes, all throughout this time frame, I have been cross-posting to Facebook, cross-posting to uh, Twitter. Very recently have I started really, uh, towards the end of the extraneous zone, I cut down like minute long clips to release on Twitter and Facebook, you know, the same day as the video to give people kind of a preview. 
But now with the introduction of TikTok and other small form um, social medias, I've been able to release footage, you know, videos to TikTok, Facebook, and um, Twitter, all with these individual small clips. And I've actually started a smaller YouTube channel, like a clips channel, to keep all those best clips for people to be able to find on their own on YouTube and then being able to cross reference it to the longer videos. So that being said, I'm technically releasing six videos a week across four different platforms. And that already is insane. So honestly, the thing that, is, that I'm most excited about is the search engine optimizations, which has always been in YouTube. And it's, it's YouTube itself is the second largest search engine next to Google itself. So if you start thinking and posting videos with the idea of, hey, you know, what are some keywords or what are people trying to search for? That was where the extraneous zone had an issue because who is searching for don't starve together gameplays? Nobody really. And if, if they do, you're going to have, you know, the top 100 YouTubers that have over a million views be your top search results. So good luck, you know, trying to put your video out there with less than a thousand subscribers and however many other people between a hundred thousand and fifty thousand ten thousand you know subscribers also doing the same thing you know there's there's got to be something defining about it so if you do don't starve together drinking game i mean that's probably a video that's probably its own little search engine optimization right there that will probably bring you above what other people are doing yes you'll probably have other big youtubers doing the same thing but there's a lot more reach with more defined keywords. So that right there is why I've started out this channel as kind of like a product review channel almost in a way, but then slowly migrating over into actual um, sim racing content is that over the course of 2021, I've amassed a lot of sim racing equipment and I'm really excited about all of it. And whether my opinions differ or are the same as a lot of other people, I felt that my opinion was worth sharing about what my thoughts are on these products to new potential prospective buyers. So obviously, like we discussed, search engine optimizations is one of my most favorite things or most excited things to be able to continue working with and really diving in deep and really understanding it because I haven't really done it a whole lot in previous channels and previous videos. But the other big thing that I'm looking forward for in 2022 is like I've been discussing before, is the cross posting with other platforms. The biggest one is TikTok. Obviously right now, TikTok is a huge up and coming platform that a lot of companies are already jumping on and are already starting to post their own, own content. I wanna say that this is like in that golden age of what uh, Instagram was going through or what Vine was going through, where you have this big ramp up where a lot of individual people are on it, but yes, there are starting to see some corporations. And it's before you have another large corporation trying to buy it up and, you know, ruining it with ads and then like your parents and your grandparents getting on TikTok and then ruining it with you know, really formal content, you know. So we're kind of in that golden age of TikTok. And right now it is something that you should definitely capitalize. Because as of right now, if I pull up some stats, I've been doing two videos a day on TikTok itself. And over the past 60 days, I've gotten over 40,000 views. My profile itself is uh, 1,300. It says that I'm only at 1,800 likes, but my profile currently is at approximately like 3,100. A ton of comments, a, a few shares, not too many, and 152 followers, 75 in the last two months. So currently I'm kind of, uh, it feels like I'm kind of going on like an exponential spike a little bit where I'm still kind of down here a little bit, but we're starting to gain a little bit of traction. So. TikTok is is huge. Again, if you don't have one, you need one yesterday. Because the other thing that I really do like about TikTok, it's it promotes collaboration because you'll be able to hear 
like sounds you'll be able to grab those sounds and then like uh, add it to your own videos and then easily get on to the recent meme or the recent thing that everybody's up to and being able to get onto that momentary trend that lasts for that week and then finding out what's new the next week and really getting onto that trend as well i like to do more of that because currently i've just made my own little trends where i've you know just started to, i'm really into formula one so i've gotten really into the formula one TikToks where I've taken Xbox controllers and I've designed them as if the F1 teams were releasing them themselves for their own um, you know, product releases or just for their own merchandise. And I've gotten a huge amount of reception from that. I've really been able to get the keywords and the uh, hashtags working on that. So again, like I've said before, get on TikTok now. So with those two kind of big ideas in mind is continuing to use search engine optimization and to continue to use TikTok. I wanted to divert into a little, I wouldn't call it a new section, but just kind of my thoughts on, you know, goal setting to see if, you know, I can date this video very badly in the future uh, and just state, okay, you know, let's say by the end of the 22, 2022 that I could have I don't know, a thousand subscribers or followers on TikTok, a hundred subscribers on YouTube, um, maybe the first sponsored video, maybe by the end of 2022. And then I think I also want to do as well for 2022 is really start getting into Formula One content and start making on like Mondays whenever there's a race or a big event, uh, just you know, providing my thoughts on it, whether it be driver prediction, driver lineup prediction, um, season predictions, or race review wrap-ups. Because I've, if anything else, yes, this is a sim racing channel, but at heart, because of this past year, I've really grown to enjoy Formula One. So I'll probably just kind of, you know, add in things that I enjoy, you know, going with Formula One per se. So I know this is going to be kind of an odd video and probably a little bit of a short one as well. But of course, thanks all for uh, listening to my thoughts on at least the first couple of seven weeks or thereabouts of this channel. Um, my thoughts behind my previous years of working of uh, other YouTube channels. And if you found this video, you know, hi. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you like this content. Uh, like and comment if you have your other thoughts and opinions on you know, running YouTube channels or um, you know starting out being a content creator for the first time in 2022. I want to get uh, some of your guys' opinions on your guys' different perspectives because I've got my own ideas, but I, I definitely want to hear what you guys have on new trends or new, again, new ideas. So again, thanks all for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and we'll see you all in 2022. Take care. Bye.